Sometimes you need to turn the power off, let your system rest, and reset yourself. This reset allows you to access clear direction, deep wisdom, greater freedom, and unlimited creativity. No matter your concerns, money, health, relationships, career, or any other life challenge, you have the ability to reset yourself. I'm Franklin Taggart. Welcome to the Reset Podcast. My guest on this episode is Stephanie Wall, who took a leap from her full-time project management career and created a business that she loves. Bringing together her passion for fitness and her desire for time together with her family, she is the owner and founder of Enjoy It Fitness in Fort Collins, Colorado. Learn more at enjoyitfitness.com. It's my pleasure to introduce Stephanie Wall to the Reset Podcast. Hello, Stephanie. Hi, Franklin. How are you doing? I'm doing real well. I wanted to uh, introduce you a little bit. Um, you are uh, the founder and owner of a new project called Enjoy It Fitness. And, Correct. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how that project came about, um, your interest in fitness, and how long you've been a fitness fanatic? <laughs> sure. Um, well, the fitness part of my life has been since I can ever remember. My parents had me in all different sports and kind of got to choose what I was most interested in. And um, gymnastics kind of stuck with me the most. And um, that kind of instilled a lot of the, um, the current understanding I have of, of fitness um, in me. So uh, that it, it needs to really be a lifestyle versus just something that you have to do every once in a while to, to be healthy. Um, and actually, I, I kind of view fitness as a form of therapy. Okay. <laughs> I think a lot of times uh, the stress of everyday life can really uh, get heavy on our shoulders. And fitness is a way where it just seems to clear up when you can be active and get your body moving and get your mind on things that are not so um, unsolvable, I guess. <laughs> you can easily get your workout in, uh, but you can't uh, solve world problems necessarily, but you feel them all. So <laughs> That's for sure, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, we, not to mention just the endorphins are always a nice uh, addition to a day. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. And, and how Enjoy It Fitness really started. So I was a, working as a project manager um, and working a lot, uh, mm -hmm. and having trouble. I also have a, a daughter and a husband, um, and having trouble fitting in working, uh, finding time to work out, spending time with my daughter and husband. Um, and just, you know, everything that you try to balance in a day when you work full time. Yeah. And, um, so I, I, I started thinking, you know, why can't I, to work out with my child. Uh, well, why can't that be one of the things that I could do to kind of two birds, one stone, I can um, go do my workout, but then also connect with my kid uh, at the same time and not put her in more daycare because she's been in daycare all day already. Yeah. Um, to feel that, that guilt of <laughs> the mommy guilt. I don't know. There's daddy guilt too, I guess, but I'm more familiar with the mommy guilt. <laughs> Parent guilt. It's all the same. Well, maybe, maybe it's different. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I really started thinking about that and um, kind of thinking, you know, they have, oops, that's a cat feeder. <laughs> um, it's going to go for a second. Um, but anyway, they have things for infants and up to two year olds where they fit in the stroller and the, you know, mainly moms will exercise with their, their child in a stroller, but there was really a gap for, four to 12 year old age group. Um, so that's really my focus. We will train younger kids as well, but, um, but the focus is that, that little gap there where four to 12 year old where your kids are super fun and you wanna hang out with them and, you, and they're able to do all these exercises with you that they couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where our focus really is, is uh, getting parents and kids of those ages to work out together and, and create that bond and connection that happens when you do fitness activities together. How old is your daughter now? She's six. And when did you start uh, this kind of lifestyle fitness with her? 
Well, we live it. So we used to be um, climbers and uh, rock climbers, and now we're really into running in the mountains. So she's kind of been born into it. Okay. Um, specifically, we offer, with Enjoy It Fitness, we offer classes called Play It Up. Um, and those classes we, we started offering in March of this year. Um, and those are circuit training based classes where parents and kids do the workout together and they're all around games, you know, so it's a play aspect to circuit training. And are you, um, are you offering these classes locally here in Colorado or is it something that people outside of Colorado could uh, access or find out more about? Well, that's a great question. So initially uh, we're starting here in Fort Collins, um, but my goal is to have it, you know, eventually be something that everybody around the world can access. Um, we're going to be eventually doing videos and um, training trainers to, to teach these classes in their location. Mm -hmm. uh, but currently at this point in time, we, we're just in Fort Collins. And how many families are you working with currently? Uh, so I would say probably about 20 families at this point. We're really, okay. really small to start out, but hopefully it'll catch on soon. You know, 20 families isn't a bad start. That's, uh, you know, for, for this type of a project, that's actually a, a commendable start. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to be just fine. Um, I, I'm kind of curious, um, are, there, are there particular activities that your daughter really enjoys more than others? Yes. So it's been actually a really neat learning experience. So she's probably more excited about the played up class than I, I even am. Okay. Um, she, she has blossomed into wanting to lead the classes. And at six year old, she wants to call out all the exercises and <laughs> She's really excited about that. So that's really been uh, so, so fun to see because it, it instills confidence in, in kids that I wasn't necessarily, I didn't know that was a goal, um, but that's, that seemed to happen. Um, but there's one exercise we do that's really fun. I think that might be her favorite where um, a kid sits on the other side of the room and the parents on the other side and you, you pull your kid in with a rope and you just get to slide around and you get a good workout. <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds like yeah. fun. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> I take my dog for walks and then my son skateboards in front of us. So that's kind of our, that's our family fitness moment. That's um, great. And that's the point of it all. You know, one thing that, that is at the basis of Enjoy It Fitness is getting outside and being active with your family. So in any form that's fun, just getting out there and being active, that sounds perfect. Well, so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of curious I'm going back to the, the place where you were a project manager and you started to have this idea about this family fitness as a possibility for a business and I'm kind of curious as to what sparked that idea it was basically the fact that I wanted to connect with my my child um, I wanted to stay fit and I wanted to instill in her a value for, for physical activity and fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so all of those things, I, to me at that point in time, it felt like all my energy was being sucked out into uh, a job that I wasn't passionate about. I think project management is a very great job, but it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't my passion. Um, and I thought, boy, I could really focus all of my energy into this and and that's kind of really where it was born. Like, well, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And, mm -hmm. and I see the void. I see the need for it. There's nothing out there at this point. So not like that. Just, yeah. To go for it. Well, it's interesting that you would then, you know, just based on your own needs, then you would see it as possibility for other families as well. Mm -hmm. And have you had to do much convincing in, in terms of getting other people interested in this? You know, it's interesting because it's not done uh, right now. It, it That is kind of the challenge. People understanding what it is we're doing. Um, you know, I, I think the challenge of this this whole uh, idea is, is just comprehending what's going on in the classes. So that's where uh, coming to the class and experiencing, once we can get people to come to the class, uh, most people love it. There's a lot of laughter. 
Um, it's pretty, f very flexible and fluid, so uh, low stress atmosphere. Um, but yeah, the, I think seeing it, it really helps. So videos, we, we try to show a lot of videos on our Instagram and Facebook pages uh, so that people can kind of even understand what the concept is. Cool. So you are on Facebook and Instagram then? <laughs> yeah, yep, we'll, uh, sure are. we'll make sure that everybody knows how to find you at the end of the at the time today. But um, I'm also kind of curious um, in terms of marketing your business. Um, what are the outlets that you found to be most effective in reaching the people that you want to reach? So um, we've done some Facebook ads, and to be honest, I'm not sure that those have. Uh, really helped all that much. Uh, really what helps is word of mouth. Uh, that's huge. Um, and, and I think that Fort Collins and probably Loveland is the same as uh, it's really a word of mouth community. You know, people uh, tell their friends and their friends tell their friends. And um, that's probably the, the best thing we've been using so far. Um, because it's so early on um, and we're trying to do this very low budget. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had the ability to do big campaigns. Um, you know, we set flyers out and stuff like that around town, but um, we are working with uh, the Recreator in Fort Collins and the Chilson Center in Loveland. Okay. Uh, so offering classes through those two places has also been a, kind of a marketing strategy as well. That's great. I think that uh, you'll reach a pretty wide crowd through both of those publications. Um, I know the Chilson Center goes to pretty much every family in Loveland, and I'm pretty sure the Recreators uh, almost that wide of an audience in Fort Collins. So you've got a lot of people reading both of those. Um, are you, in terms of your expansion of the business, what kinds of goals do you have uh, for the next year or two coming up? So we'd like to um, increase the amount of classes that we offer and. To do that, we also would like to start training other people to teach the classes as well. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I am teaching all classes, so <laughs> <laughs> I can only go so far. Um, so I'd love to expand into training other trainers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, another step, probably in the next few years, would be uh, creating videos uh, so that people can do the, the workouts far away as well. Mm -hmm. um, and designing, uh, yeah, kind of curriculums and, and uh, that kind of thing. So you're looking to expand worldwide then. You're, uh, you know, with the videos and the online instruction, you could conceivably, yeah. you know, if the astronauts wanted to do it in the space station, they could do it, you know? Yeah. And actually it's funny that you mentioned um, not astronauts, but <laughs> I'm thinking there are no kids in space. Um, yeah. you know, I have taught this class uh, to businesses as well. And what I found with only working adults, um, and initially the idea was I would just introduce the concept to these adults so, so they could come to the class with their kids. But what I found is that adults enjoy doing the exercises that I have created with each other just as much. It's okay. kind of a fun, silly way to get a good workout. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's kind of, that's a, another branch I haven't quite explored yet, but it could be, you know, a, an interesting um, thing for adults too in certain circumstances. One of the things them. that I found uh, in, in, several cases is that I've started a business for one niche and it's ended up serving a completely different niche. That just right. happens. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I can definitely see how for sure. So do you have any interest at all in maybe creating a franchise opportunity with this business? Yes, actually I do. Um, we've talked to a franchise specialist. Um, I'm not quite sure yet if it would be a franchise or if it would be a licensing approach. Um, where we license trainers to to train. Uh, so that's something we are exploring, though. And so there's a potential business opportunity for uh, people who go through your training. At some point, they could license your material and you know be, be able to build businesses of their own based on your model. Most definitely. Yep, that is the, the end goal for sure. Well, that's awesome. Um, one of the things that I'm kind of curious about is um, 
how far do you see this going with your own family? Um, like your daughter's six now, and you kind of, you know, initially said that you were looking at opportunities between four and 12. Uh, what do you see beyond 12? Huh. Well, you know, kind of what we were talking about, about how this is also a concept that many adults find fun as well. So, um, so I could see it growing into something beyond just, basically I see it, this is a tool for human connection in combination with fitness. Mm -hmm. So I think especially in this day and age, um, it's super easy to disconnect from people, from, from anything and just kind of be alone yeah. um, with your TV or social media or whatever, um, which is, you know, it's great to have social media on one hand, but it can also be pretty isolating. Um, so Even I see this kind of partnership and play uh, approach to, to fitness as one uh, that connects people. And, and when you do physical activity together, it, it creates a bond that, that doesn't exist if you're just, you know, watching TV next to each other on the couch. Right. Um, you create experience. So, so yeah, there's a lot of ways this could go. Sure. Yeah, definitely. The thing that is interesting now as you speak about that is to put um, put fitness into a social context. Um, I know, you know, when I go to the Chilson Center and I see people like that are working on the exercise equipment, they've got their earbuds in. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't yep. I discount that, but I think, wow, you know, what if there was some kind of a social aspect to that? Now, those people are probably wanting that solitude for the time that they're working out. I know that when I swim, I don't usually want to talk to anybody. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a time and a place for everything, right? You know, yeah. I, there are times when you just want to zone out and not have to think, but I do think it's an easy way to get connection and your fitness Two of those things that, that are really important on a day to day basis mm -hmm. off your list. And then you can fill your open hour with something else, you know, <laughs> go get yeah. your groceries or something. <laughs> well, let's, let's talk a little bit about what classes you have coming up. I, we're, you know, approaching midsummer and uh, what classes will you have uh, as the summer unfolds? So I have classes in the recreator um, and those will, those are at the Foothills activity center mm -hmm. um, for July and, uh, and August, and they'll be in the fall as well. They're kind of ongoing. Um, I also have classes at um, Shepherdson Elementary School okay. that are just my own classes. Those are on Monday and Tuesdays uh, at Monday at five and, uh, sorry, not Tuesdays, Monday and Thursdays, Monday at five, uh, Thursday at 5.30. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am working with the Chilson Center currently. Those classes uh, didn't end up happening for the first session in summer, but they will uh, happen hopefully um, either later summer or in the fall. So there are opportunities right now in both Fort Collins and Loveland. Yeah, there will be. Loveland okay. uh, hopefully will be, but Fort Collins for sure. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> All right. And um, you, you do have a website, a fantastic website. As, um, it's called enjoyitfitness.com. Correct. And um, can you talk a little bit about um, maybe some of the ways that people can interact with you on social media? Yeah. So we are on Facebook um, and we, we try to do little um, interactive contests. We had one where we had um, my my co-founder uh, who was doing an exercise with my daughter, Adele. And, uh, and then we said, you know, name, you know, what, what is she thinking in her head while she's doing this exercise? Cause it looks like she's working really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so Facebook is one way where we really try to interact and encourage people to interact. Um, and then Instagram is another one where um, love to get comments and, and uh, interact with folks that way as well. Mm -hmm. Do you have an anticipation in terms of when you would like to have video things available? Um. Yes. So what we're trying to do right now is get more uh, small snippet videos to even explain what the concept is uh, and kind of get those a little bit more professionally done. It's just been us videotaping them now with our uh, actually, I guess they don't. Do you say videotaping anymore? Is it videoing? I don't even know. 
There's no tape involved. <laughs> if, if there is tape involved, it's not it doesn't have anything to do with the video. <laughs> um, so we want to get those a little bit. We're working with folks to get more explanation videos that are just short snippets and kind of advertisements. The real videos that probably will take a couple of years to get set up. Mm -hmm. um, at least at least two, if not three or so years to get the actual videos um, is what I'm guessing. But if we end up getting very popular, maybe I could do it sooner. <laughs> no. Well, you know, anything can happen. And um, what I've found with online courses in particular is that you just kind of have to start. And even with your iPhone, you can make, you can make decent videos with your iPhone and you can show demonstrations and things like that. So um, a big part of it is just getting started. I'm getting ready to release a course on creating your first online course. Um, ah. It's going to be coming out here in a, hopefully about two, three weeks. But what I was going to suggest is we met uh, through a workshop that I did on podcasting. And I'm curious, yeah. are you still considering a podcast? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm very interested in, in podcasting. Um, I, my partner and I need to kind of sit down and, and focus on what approach we'll take with the podcast. But mm -hmm. I think um, we're we're kind of funny. So I think it could be a fun thing to do. <laughs> I think so too. The more humorous, the better. <laughs> and we can get our kids involved. I think it could be a fun, uh, a fun thing to do. So I'm absolutely interested in doing that. Wonderful. I'll look forward to hearing more about that. So um, if people wanted to get in touch with you directly, what's the best thing to, to do for them? So my email address would be a, a great way to get in touch with me. It's Steph. S T E P H at enjoy it .com. Okay. As far as, um, you know, what, what's the most important thing that you've learned as you've launched this business? Let's see the most important, there have been so many things I've learned. Uh, <laughs> I, I had no idea what it took to start a business. Um, but I guess the most important thing is that, uh, you need to be open to, to kind of one thing you hit on before where it's, you never quite know what direction you're going to end up. Mm -hmm. um, going with a, a goal is important, but also being open to different opportunities that come by um, and seeing how they can really shape or uh, direct uh, in which way you go. Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> That's, that is probably, I'm still learning. <laughs> if, I have to tell you, I think of, of any lesson that I've learned, that's probably it. It's like you just never know. You can have the best plans, and you just never know where you're going to end up. Right. Yeah. I have a, a friend who his grandfather used to say, the hardest part about working, on, working out is putting on your sneakers. And... Um, <laughs> I always tell people that in business, it's kind of the same way. It's like the hardest part about having a business is just starting. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yes, Once you get definitely. started, all of a sudden there's, there are things that happen and a momentum of its own starts to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the biggest surprise that you've had uh, as you've launched this business? Um, honestly, I think the biggest surprise has been in my daughter, uh, mm -hmm. just seeing her, reaction to it all is she's a pretty shy kid uh or has been i try not to say the shy word around her because i don't want her to just say well i'm shy and not try you know but um she typically has been pretty shy but with this this class she's uh come she wants to be the center of attention leading the class she her body awareness is really uh grown she kind of understands uh how to use certain muscles better than she did before. Mm -hmm. So uh, kind of seeing the effects firsthand and getting that confirmation in my own daughter has been really awesome. Oh, that's great. What yeah. a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about ready to end our time here, Stephanie. Um, and um, I like to end with a word of encouragement. If you were to meet with a parent right now of a young child, and just have any encouragement for them, um, what would you tell them uh, in terms of uh, getting together as a family and enjoying fitness activities? Um, I think once you introduce play 
into fitness, it changes the game. It, it makes it less about, I mean, the, getting the workout is a focus for the parents and inadvertently is also a focus for the kid. But once you insert play in there, it's more about having fun, being silly and, and, and the fitness is, is, is this aft, added bonus at the end that the, <laughs> that the kids don't even realize and the parents are having fun connecting with their kids. So I feel like if you're looking for a way to make, to encourage fitness in the family with kids, with parents, with grandparents, with aunts and uncles, whoever, um, playing really helps. Making it fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Stephanie, I've really enjoyed our conversation. And again, if people want to get in touch with you, it is Steph at enjoyitfitness.com. Correct. And uh, be sure to check out the website, everyone, and uh, get in touch. And again, if there are people that are interested in the training, um, I would say jump on it now because this is ground floor. Uh, you've got a great Definitely. opportunity. And uh, I think... Uh, I think that's a, a strong selling point in itself. If people are interested in bringing this to their community, uh, there's an opportunity now like no other. So uh, get in touch with Steph. All right. Great. Thank yeah. you so much, Steph. I have really enjoyed our uh, conversation. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording now. And then okay, I can. You. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, thank you, Franklin. I appreciate the opportunity to talk. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for taking the time to listen to, subscribe, and review the Reset Podcast. The Reset Podcast features interviews, insights, and in-depth reflections that will help you navigate your own reset. Do you have a story to share about a reset you've experienced? If you'd like to be a guest or share an idea for a topic you'd like to hear about, please contact podcast at franklintaggart.com. Reset Podcast interviews are recorded with Zoom. If you haven't tried Zoom video conferencing software, please click the link in the show description and sign up for your free trial now. You won't be disappointed. More information about this show and guests is available now at franklintaggart.com. The Reset Podcast is a production of Franklin Taggart and Make Your Own Way Media. All rights reserved. <laughs>